Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel and welcome to another fountain pen review. I hope you are still safe from all these problems with the coronavirus and I hope these videos will help you somehow to spend some time safe at home. So, let's take a look at this pen. This pen that I'm showing you today is a Chinese pen that I bought um, online quite inexpensively and I saw it for the first time on GreaseRap52 uh, YouTube channel. And I was curious about it so I decided to, to get one. And this pen is the Natami. I don't have much information about this brand, not, not even about the name of the model. They have other models, but this one I don't know how it is called, so I will call it Natami Hooded Pen. And what are the characteristics? I can say that, let me put it that way, it reminds me the kind of Parker 51 type of pen, but with a plastic cap. So. It has both plastic cap and plastic barrel, a cigar shaped uh, shape. Uh, it has the clip which is in this frosted metal and it is a quite nice clip in this frosted silver metal. You also have in silver the imprint there that says Natami and you can see a ring on the barrel or the section beneath the, the cap. Then you have a plastic barrel and nothing on the end, it's not really a hole. So it's this very very simple pen, quite light, not too light, you will not think you'll break it uh, anytime, but it is like this. The cap gets off just by pulling. I, I have to say that I don't find these caps very securely. I'm not sure when, when it is really kept, but the way it caps correctly is like this, when the cap covers half of that little ring. And you have a ring that is not similar, but reminds us of the ring, of the clutch ring on the, on the Parker 51. Then it has a very long section with the same section or shell as you prefer, that reminds us again of the Parker 51 and then you have a hooded nib and I don't think I need to mention Parker 51 again. Then you can unscrew the barrel to access the filling system and the filling system is through ink cartridges or converter. The pen comes with this converter and it can also accept the Parker cartridge. If you prefer, this is the, the, the type of opening there is the, the Parker size. So they are interchangeable if you if you want. And this is it. About something that people ask sometimes about eyedroppering the pen. Yes, it would be possible for the barrel, but it would be not that easy because of this metal part there of the the threads, the inner threads of the of the barrel or on the section. About some comparison with other pens, I have here two other pens that we can compare this with. This is the Qinhao 51A. You can see this is a similar sized pen, maybe a little bit slimmer. And here we have the Ving Sung uh, 6, 613. There are also many other pens uh, that with which I could compare it, but I don't want to make this very long. I don't think... I think you can get the, the what I mean. I can show you someday later. Maybe it may be useful. If you think so, please let me know in the comments if you find it can be useful to have a video like an overview of uh, Parker 51 type pens, if you find that interesting. And I have here 
also the real Parker 51. So I would say they are quite similar in concept and shape. When they are uncapped you can see more differences. Let's align them by size. Okay. And what you will see is of all these pens the Natami is the one with the bigger uh, section. Then you have the Ving Sung and then you have Jinao with the same proportions as the Parker 51. So this is for the size comparison. About the color. The color of this pen is very hard to describe. I would call it like a mustard yellow, but it's not really yellow, so if I had to call it something I would call it mustard green, but I'm sure that this color doesn't exist, I think. So, let's cap it again, and this is how the pen looks. Now, I have here also the Parker dual fold. Sorry, today I'm not framing things okay, sorry about that. And also a Lamy Safari. So, this is a Parker Centennial dual fold, the black version, just for size comparison. And also the Lamy Safari. This is a special edition for some years ago that had the black clip and the nib. And you can see that this pen is around the same size, although it is slimmer. When we uncap the pen, it is shorter than the other two. However, uh, opposite to the other two pens, this one posts really well. It doesn't cap that securely, but it posts very well and quite deeply. And if you do it, it becomes longer than the other two. And I find this pen to be really comfortable to write with the cap posted. Let's take this out of the way and let's just show it that just show how I would hold the pen. So, I think this is one of those pens that I could hold um, kept. When I use hooded, I, know, uh, I said kept, but I meant posted. When I use uh, hooded pens, I usually prefer to have the pen, to hold the pen here on the clutch ring. I don't know why. It's like a tactile thing. I think the most comfortable place to hold it is here, but my fingers always go there, so if you want me to hold something, put some threads or some ring there and I automatically go there. So, this is quite comfortable to write with. It has a very nice size, there's no problem, but I find that it is quite short for the way I hold it. It's not short. You see, it's a nice size, but if you hold it higher, you may feel it short. So, hold it correctly, or because however you hold this pen is correct, you can post it and then it becomes a very nice sized pen. So, this is all I had to show you about the pen. Quite nice, well made, and it costs around 12 euros, so you cannot go that bad. And now let's go for the writing sample. And here we are with the pen and paper. And let's start. So let's post it. And this pen is the Natami Hooded Pen. The nib on this pen, I would say, it is an F. It is very it is a juicy F, not wide, but I think it lays down a nice amount of ink on paper. Then, the, the paper is the Rodia or Rodia dot pad. And the ink I have in this pen is the very dark brown Parker quink brown and now let me put the paper this way because it's 
easier for me or maybe I can change the camera a little let's see how this pen writes so as you can see it writes really well even if when you write faster the pen will deliver a good amount of ink on paper and how wet is this? it is this wet I think for a fine nib it is a quite wet pen and I I like it, I enjoy this kind of nibs. Also, another good thing about this nib is that it has some feedback. I'm not sure if you can hear it. But I find the kind of feedback that this pen has very nice. Now, let's see about the line width. This is the a vertical stroke. Now, let's go for an horizontal one. So I would say there is no difference between them. And now, with no pressure, the same that I did there, and with some pressure. The line increases just a little, but you feel that you cannot go any further than this. So, I will not say that this pen has any line variation. Sorry, I'm not putting the pen correctly on paper. It was a little bit off, that's why it skipped. So, you can see there is no line variation and if you try to hold it a little harder, you almost have none. You can try to write with the nib on the reverse side and there, yes, you can have a very extra fine line. And it is a writing with the same kind of feedback you have on the right side. So, it's not very bad. Actually, it's quite, ple quite pleasant, but it tends to run a little bit dry. But if you just want to put some little comment on the margin of a paper that you're reading, I think that is enough and nice for that purpose, because it's really, really fine. So, what, which are my overall comments about this pen? I would say this is quite comfortable to hold, unlike Parker 51, I think I... I turn this pen more often and then I find it to skip because I'm not hitting the paper on the on the right angle. I don't know why, but it's not that easy to, for me to to see the nib. Maybe it's the angle of the of the end of the, of the nib. I, I don't I don't really know. There is something about this that makes me not uh, hit the paper in the best way many times. So this, but maybe this is my problem because the pen writes fine. So, this is a very good pen for everyday use. I would take this to, to school. It would be a very nice pen to write a lot. It takes ink cartridges or it can have the converter. So, it's easy to refill. And I just would be aware that the cap can come off slightly easily. I don't think it will come off by accident, but I would, at least myself, I would be very careful to have this in a pouch that kept the cap in place. If this was loose, uh, what I mean is this is a pen that I would not carry in a pocket of the shirt or of a coat, because I would be afraid the cap to be on the coat and the pen to, to, to slip to the bottom. So, this is all I had to show you. I have to thank you so much for watching the vi this video. I hope you enjoyed and please be safe, follow the, the instructions of your health authorities and I hope we will get over this pandemic soon and see you soon. Bye.